Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 84. So today's episode is a continuation of my SCCM 2007 videos. Uh, today is actually part 8, and I'm going to give you a brief of what's going to be happening um, in future videos. So in part 8, which is today, I'm going to show you guys how to create the package. Uh, part 9 is going to create a program for the package. Part 10, advertise the package. And part 11, create and update the distribution point and hopefully cross the fingers, uh, show you guys how to push it out. And it's been pushed out to a client and we install it. So again, uh, what I did was I uh, created a folder called SCCM underscore packages inside the C drive of my SCCM machine. Guys don't really have to do this again. Uh, most likely you have a network share that already has all your programs. You can actually point to that UFC path. Uh, but for me to keep everything short and simple, I created a package application folder and just put everything in it. Now, today's example, I'm going to do the M Notepad plus plus. Again, you can go to this website, Notepad plusplus.org and download it. It's real free. It's it's a it's a cool application to have. I'm actually using it right now. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, so I already have this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the name of the execution file because I'm going to be needing that pretty soon. So the first thing to do is you can open up your configuration manager console and you want to get into the computer management and within the computer management you want to go into the software distribution packages I already created a Firefox because I was testing stuff out but you're gonna right click on packages go to new package okay once you do that you're gonna get a dialog box that's gonna want you to enter information okay so now you want to enter the name of the package so this is gonna be notepad plus uh, plus I believe the version that I'm doing is 611 6.1.6 .6. no manufacturer do en for language and you can basically put uh, any comment that you want I'm gonna put notepad it's about notepad 2d's actually there we go notepad plus plus uh, 6.1.6 .6. package for BJ Tech News. Okay, I'm uh, gonna hit next. Now, uh, you get to this portion of data source. You do have a data source for it, so you want to click on that, and you want to set the location of it. Now, setting the location because I'm using a local drive on the site server. That's what I'm gonna pick. So browse it over here go here and the folder notepad plus plus press ok now if you guys are not using um, a folder within your SCCM to um, store your applications most likely you're going to do a UMC path uh, for this example I'm using the local drive site site server so press ok and from there uh, always attain the file from the source directory ok uh, check this off because I do want to update the distribution point. Okay. And I'm going to leave this as default. Okay. And so we're going to, I'm not going to do this. And I'm going to hit next. Data access, specify where the package is stored. I'm going to leave it as the default. And we're going to hit next on this. Now, this is up to you it depends how major the package is I'm gonna leave it as medium I'm gonna leave it as default matter of fact I'm just gonna change it to high for now because I want this to be pushed out immediately to the distribution point and I need this to be uh, pushed out to the client right away so let's put it as a sending priority of high um, automatically download content when the package are assigned to the branch of yep leave that as is don't check this off hit next uh, leave this as is, leave the default use package properties for status MIF. If you want to configure your MIFs um, and you want to have specific fields, you do it here. If not, I'm going to keep it as the default as use package properties for the status of the MIF. Hit next. Uh, specify the security rights that users have. Basically, this is 
this is all you need you really don't need much you don't need to change anything here click next a brief summary of what's gonna happen hit next and that's it everything's successful you should have green check marks and all close it and you should have your new package double click on it and when you double click on it this is all the stuff that you need to configure I'm actually gonna show you guys how to configure this on the next episode um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this at the very bottom there is a comment section please leave comments and let me know what you think uh, about the video as well if you enjoy the video give me a thumbs up as well at the very top right there there's a subscribe button please subscribe to my channel and get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software as well as gaming uh, so I'll catch you guys later and thank you subscribe thank you